Hello Shopify merchants, my name is Jude. I am the operations manager of Wholesale and Custom Pricing. This is a Shopify app that allows you to provide wholesale, discount, and custom pricing to your store. Um, along with that, we also have order form, which is a pretty huge feature, and I'm going to save this for a separate video. For now, we're going to focus on wholesale custom pricing. This app is easy to install and our pricing is based on your Shopify subscription level. In other words, if you're in Shopify basic plan, our app will charge you with this amount. If you're on Shopify standard plan, this is your charge. This is our monthly charge and so on and so forth. I hope I made that clear. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can set up your first wholesale offer. So this is going to be my product and um, yeah, let's go to our app. So this is our dashboard. The first step is to go into install or uninstall tab like so and then choose your theme. In my case, I'm using the debut theme and then hit install, install and then hit save and that should do the magic now if your app is if your theme is not included in here just choose the default it's 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 fine so then the second step is to go to the discount groups tab assuming we're the same we're under the free trial um we're only allowed to create one discount group so let's do that so let's check this one enabling the discount group the discount group title will be wholesale so the customer tag field is what you're going to tag your customer with. So I'll show you this a little bit more once we've finished uh, setting this up. What should I name it? Wholesale test. So this is going to be my wholesale tag or my customer tag. Description perfect for Black Friday sales. All right. Um, in the next section, we have options to choose either discount amount, percentage, or discount prices. So basically, the discount prices is just the prices you see here. But we're not allowed to change that because we need to upgrade this uh, our plan. But right now, since I'm on the free plan, I'm going to go ahead and proceed. Um, so my discount tiers will be based on let's see let's go for the cart quantity my type of discounts can be either of this let's just go for percentage and if you're not sure what this means you just have to click this and our app shows you what it does now the keyword here is each so what it means is if you're you're using a cart value here so if um, if when a shopper has more than a hundred or X amount, depending on what you provide here on this field, it will give you the customer a 10% off or an X percent off each unit. So that's the keyword there. It's not providing discount to the subtotal. Instead, it provides discount to each line items in the cart. All right. Um, let's choose cart quantity. Um, so if I have 10 in my cart, I give 20% discount. If I have 20 in my cart, I give 30. If I have 30, I have 40. So the next options is this one. So I'm only allowed to choose this one because I'm on a free trial. Um, selected products. In other words, I need to select a product where this discount group is attached. So in my case, I'm going to attach this to this specific product right here. So I copy pasted the product title and it appears that I have multiple uh, product uh, bikes right here. But I guess the one that hasn't have uh, numbers in it after the title is the one. By the way, I'm not going to edit this video. So if I encounter any issues, <laughs> We're gonna fix it together. Um, perfect, it's it's here. So this is a great indicator. This is your indicator that your products is added, is attached to this discount group. 
so the next step is to discount table show I'm gonna leave this as is because I wanted to show you guys the discount table and if we're on a pay plan you're gonna have options to change whether or not you want a free shipping a flat rate and so on I also have a tax exemptions uh, but uh, we're not gonna do that for for this video so save this one and we're done we're done with the wholesale just remember copy and paste the customer tag first can be on your notepad so I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard go to customers because uh, if you go to the product page this is the discount this is where we want the wholesale offer to appear it's not appearing yet it's because we're missing a crucial step which is tagging a customer account so I'm gonna use my test account right here and you should see this um, under the tags this section just below the email marketing tab um, right in paste the um, customer tag that you made in our app so click on this one so this has a plus icon here click that one and should double check if it's added to your account and then hit save now we are good to go refresh the page and there we go so this is my wholesale my discount group title this is the description and this is the table so let's uh, test it in the cart so if I have 10 to 19 I should receive a 20% off uh, so each of these bikes should cost $60 let's go ahead and try that okay so this is part of our app um, encouraging your wholesale customers to uh, let's see 10 there we go so it has uh, it should be $60 each correct perfect now let's try doing it on the checkout Right. excellent now this is important um, this will only appear when you are logged in remember you are providing a wholesale offers to your co wholesale customers it's not going to be available uh, in public it's gonna be it's only gonna show to your customers that is tagged I am only able to see this because I'm logged in so here you can see but if I log out let's see if I log out there we go and then go back back to this bike and yeah okay so this is from a different app um, <laughs> this is from our uh, bulk discounts uh, app but you can s you already see the difference so I've used uh, wholesale as my discount group title but if I log in let me add that in go back to that page I should see the wholesale offer instead you see all right perfect so if this doesn't work if after you've followed all my instructions I'm gonna leave all our support details under the description and maybe you can leave a comment or ask questions I'll I'll make sure I'll address those uh, in my next videos okay talk to you soon thanks